Good morning, tiny phone people. It's been a little while since I've uh, been on the YouTube. Unfortunately, I've been taken down with the man flu, so I might sound a little bit croaky and a bit phlegmy, but I'm on the mend. I'm on the mend. Um, but I thought, since I've been gone for a couple of weeks, I will do a quick unboxing of something I've ordered, and then a little state of the desk situation with all the things I've got on the desk that I'm wanting to test, wanting to play with, um, and things like that. So yes, let's do the first unboxing, something that might be familiar from my last video, but I did fall down a rabbit hole of the small notebook situation and did place an order. And I placed an order from Sylvine. I got some of their original stuff. It's been sat on my pile since it got delivered a couple of weeks ago and I've, I've been dying to open it they're actually really close to where i live in west yorkshire um maybe 20 minutes from my house it's amazing how close they are um but i thought i'm gonna give it a go i like the little red sylvines from my last video i will maybe put a, a link somewhere if i can remember how to do that um or even link at the end but till then let's see what's in here let's just pull the paperwork out just in case uh yep it's got my details on it and a little thank you note and then inside we have little red package all wrapped up in a bit of paper and we have Some little notebooks. So I went with, because these were limited edition, pocket notebooks. I'm hoping I'm not all blurry on the screen because I was on one of the videos. And they're in different colours compared to the little red one that I've got. These were a limited edition. I liked the look of them. So I decided to go for them. They're in a move them there for a second a blue a white and a purple a little bit different um yeah i already know i quite like these so i thought i'll buy two packs since i'm ordering from them but the limited edition zero plastic um yeah, interesting. Hopefully you can read that. It's not too blurry. I can't be bothered reading it. Inspired by colours and then plain paper and they're all perforated. So they're going to go into my collection of little notebooks um, that I seem to have gained. Um, I actually was going to leave a note on my friend's car the other day in a, in a supermarket car park and I realised I didn't have any paper on me. I only had my paper in my traveller's notebook. I didn't want to tear a page out of this. So what I'm actually going to do is put one of these in the car. Because you can tear the pages out brilliantly. Um, yeah. Next one. I've gone for a memo with the stitched. Um, it's a little bit bigger as you can imagine. As you can see. Uh, 159 by 97 millimeters so it's bigger than this one which was 110 by 74 and it is bigger than a field nose it's about the same width it's a little bit taller so i bought one of these I believe these are more like the school books that I recall as a kid because they are really really bold lines yeah really bold so that will go onto my to test pile with many other books and then I bought one in bullet same thing it's a bit it's bigger 
Um, is it A5? I don't think it is. 190 by 125 dotted pages. Just looking around now to see what I've got that is officially A5. Um, I've got Leutsch terms. Smaller, so it's not A5. I think these are A5. Um, jot books. Don't know what they actually state. They are 145 by 210. I think that might be A5, but I'm not certain. Um, so it's a little bit smaller. This one got a bit beaten up in the post. They did get a bit wet because the day they got delivered, it was raining. And as good as they wrapped them, they were a bit battered, but yep, dot grid. Don't know if you can see that, little dots. Maybe not, maybe the colour's getting washed out. It's quite a pale dot grid. So, again, put the band, belly band back on that so I remember what it is. And then I won't forget. And put that with the... Bigger books up there, ready to be used. Don't know what I'm going to use that for, is the honest answer. But, well, I really was just ordering these. And I had to pay a couple of pounds shipping. So I thought I'll try the others as well at the same time. There's no point not making sure my order's fully maximised out. Um, yeah, what else have I got? So on the to test pile, I did get the other day. Oh, reach over and grab them off camera. A few books from Timu, Temu, Tamu, um, just to see what they were like. They're, this one's like a fake leather, plasticky feel, PU leather, um, cream paper. It's got the weather, date, uh, days. A number for memo. I don't know what that would be used for, but and then a date section. Paper feels okay. I've not tested it yet. Plan is to do a video testing that. This one again, more, it's not leather, but it has it's like a suede, smoothy suede for you. You can just see on the camera. There's a bit of a a pattern to the actual thing. It feels quite nice. It's got. Grey sp sp sprayed edges, elastic closure, um, business notebook A5, undated, then has some other information running around in the back, in the front, sorry, monthly, yearly schedule, some other random information. Things I want to do, lists, travel plans, nice little plane. Then it jumps straight into blank pages, very similar to the other one, except it doesn't say memo, it just has a date, the day and the weather. And that is the same all the way through, I believe. Is the back the same? Yeah. Interesting one. If the paper is any good, then that could potentially be a good buy. I, I, I'll have to check. They're not overly expensive on Timu. If you don't mind giving all your information to the Chinese government, you're all right, I suppose. A um, few quid for a book. If the paper's good, the paper's good. Then this one, oh, bit of cardboard. Get rid of that. Cardboard gone. Was more because I needed to order something else. Looked really nice in the pictures. In realistic terms, it's, it feels very cheap. It's a PU leather in, I don't know how the camera shows. It's quite a, it's quite an orangey brown color. But I got it because I was curious about rings and how, if I would like the use of them. Got a little pocket here, pen loop, card slots. Don't know. Don't really like the metal clasps. Um, clear plastic page defender. 
and exactly the same information at the top of the page, except it's on pages that can be moved. Double sided. Again, if the paper is any good, could be used, I suppose. I don't know if this ring layout is the same layout as any other sort of file of faxes and stuff. Um, if it is, I could maybe change out this. Well, that's like a page marker. Well, I suppose it's not too bad. For one that's a little bit nicer, a little bit less cheap feeling. Um, oh, making noise. They pop open. They pop short, and they seem to be... Thing. I'm not an expert on those. It's very sturdy. Stable, it's a bit big for my liking, but it was only three or four pounds, I think, on Timu. It's worth a shot. Get rid of that. So, what's next? I did buy from a shop in the UK, obviously. Um, watercolor sketchbook paper and a watercolor color traveling set just i wanted to try and do a little bit of uh arty stuff in a watercolor book just for the little things so some of that may appear soon not quite sure um what else did i have two more things i think one being these <laughs> these are pocket pens um, a bit hard to see, right in the rain. So there's this pack of two. They're, very, they're nice and small, a bit like the Fisher Bullet pen. Um, so they're small when they're together, and then they're full size when you put the back of the cap onto the back of the pen. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with the Fisher Bullet pen. I lose them. I've gone through about four of them because they're so small. They're metal, and they, they slip in your pocket, and they fall out, they, and... The, I've lost about four, but they're about forty pounds in the UK for one pen, whereas these, I think I paid twenty two pounds for two pens. They're plastic, but they're about the same idea. So I thought I'd give them a go, see how they are. Um, I will do a proper unboxing and ink test on the paperwork and stuff on another video. I'm trying to not do too much in this one. It's more of a get back, get my throat going after the cold, show people what I've got waiting. And then after that, I went down the rabbit hole of mechanical pencils the other day, and I did do a video on it. And someone recommended a specific one. Now I'm getting my wallet out for this one because this mechanical pencil, now if I could just find it, yep, yeah, it's there. This was my Zebra, and everybody thought, oh, that's really good, compact. I've not lost it yet. It's quite amazing. But what I did get recommended, and it's in my wallet, you can, can't see, you can just see it there. I don't know if you can actually see it. It doesn't take up too much space in this wallet. And it's actually an Oto mechanical pencil. Oto Minimo. Min Minimo, yeah, minimo. It's on a little plastic slip, about the size of a credit card, and it slots in. And it's a tiny mechanical pencil, so thin. It's absolutely amazing. And it makes the zebra look fat. It's that thin. But yeah, I'm gonna try in this. Slots on the little plastic slip, and I I bought it specifically for this reason, that it slots in there with my cash. The wallet closes, doesn't bulk it out too much. I still get to my cards because it's one of the poppy out ones. Yeah, so that one of them in the car. I'll now be able to leave notes on my mate's car when I go to the supermarket and I see his car, telling him he can't park and he should really learn to drive. So yes, I also just noticed I've got these. Pick these up at Waterstones. Um, I love the 
Japanese um, designs, as you can tell from the tattoos. Um, field note size, only five ninety nine, so cheaper than a field notes. As you can see, still in plastic. I'm not at a point where I want to open them yet. Um, the wife has got some that have got that's got. It's like a library because she she does books, uh, lots of reading. And it's got the books on it. I might test one of hers, but she's not here at the moment. So I'll not tempt fate by going and looking for it and shout, having a shout at me. Um, but yeah. And then these should fit in here. In my Etsy leather cover from, I think it's Priory Leather. It's been in my pocket now for two weeks. And not destroyed. Not coming apart it's not even getting that scratched up so i don't know what they've done with the leather but it's it's handling it very well uh the field note inside still looks good still lined so yep that's going to be a video soon that's just in my back pocket um along with my edc pens galen leather leather slip in natural with a mechanical pencil and a, a zebra pen. So yeah, and this is patina in and taking the colours from just being slipped in and out of the pocket. Lovely. It's, it's looking dirty and, and and well used. It's got soft around the end, so it's sort of semi-closing around two pens. Um, probably a bit overkill for the type of pen that's in there, but if I was using it for my fountain pens and stuff, it would mould to that as well, I would assume. I do have a brown one. Which I've had the same. This normally has, which is not in it at the moment. Where is it? Normally has this in it. Malami 2000. So they're great, just little pocket protectors. Keeping your pens safe in your pocket if you are a, a daily carry sort of user. Um, yeah. Keeps it safe. You see? Yeah. Wonderful. Well, that was me rambling. Anybody else bought anything useful or that I should look at or... Maybe I should probably just do some videos on this mass of stuff that I've just shown you and rambled on about for the last 20 minutes. Might have to cut some of it out, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe just put 20 minutes of video up for people not to watch. Um, yeah, hope you all have a good weekend. And thanks a lot, tiny phone people.